All right. Looks like we got recording going just the way we need it. Welcome back, guys. Justin R. Harris here. Welcome to another recording of business scenarios solved every single day. Getting into the Daily Drucker, Peter F. Drucker, the Daily Drucker, 366 days of business scenarios, just innovative thinking that I keep telling you guys every single time because this is what we do. If you are serious about business, then this is what we do, right? So for today's topic, talking about the human existence. If you saw the playlist before, we get we get briefly into spirituality. This kind of does that as well. Everybody has their spirit within, if you will. Um, and so digging deep inside of yourself and discovering who you are when it comes to business, you know, is revealing more substance about what it is that you do as a person and how you apply that to business, the people you do business with and things of that nature. So what I want to do is I want to read directly from what Peter Drucker talks about on this particular playlist um, as we get into human existence. And it kind of sounds bleak at first, and it's because he's explaining exactly how shallow it could be, but how it's exactly not that, right? And so that's what I really want to explain. So I, I don't want <laughs> too much, uh, let, let's not create all this anticipation. Let's just dig right into it so I can explain. So I'm going to read right from what he explains here, because as you guys know, if you follow this playlist, you know that when he is getting into a topic, um, and I don't want to paraphrase. I really want to deliver what it is that he's explaining. Uh, that's why sometimes I'll read directly. Uh, I just don't want to miss a beat when it comes to that. So here's what he says. Follow me with this. He goes, disintegration of the rational character of society and the rational relationship between individual and society is the most revolutionary trait of our times. Society must take must make it possible for man to die without despair if it wants him to be able to live exclusively in society. And it can do so only one way, by making individual life meaningless. If you are nothing but a leaf on the tree of the race, a cell in the body of society, then your death is not really death. You had better call it a process of collective regeneration. But then, of course, your life is not a real life either. It is just a functional process within the life of the whole, devoid of any meaning except in terms of the whole. Thus, an optimism that proclaims human existence in society leads straight to despair. And this despair can lead only to totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. I screwed that up. That is a long word. Sorry, guys. Hey, listen, I ain't perfect. All right. So um, human existence is possible as existence not in despair, as existence not in tragedy. It is possible as existence in faith. That's what he gets into. So he goes, here's the action point here. He goes, reflect on the following. Human existence is possible only in tension. In tension between man's simultaneous life as an individual, in the spirit, and as a citizen in society. That's pretty deep, right? So giving you these types of topics, just, just play that back and listen to what I was saying here and, and apply it to yourself and ask yourself where this is acceptable in the way that you view yourself and the way you do business because if you're only shallow in doing business then you have no substance so how much substance do you have when you're doing business and what does that mean to you see you guys next time